in this video I am going to discuss with you related to response of second order system that means differently damped second order system for unit step input. In the previous video we saw the time response of undamped second order system for unit step input. In the same way we can found by using the under damped or critically damped or over damped systems for over damped critically damped or under damped systems we will follow the same way which we followed in the previous video to calculate the time response of the second order system. Here I am giving the final equations or final response of the system for a differently damped second order system. So, that uh, that will have a huge procedure. So, whatever the procedure we followed for undamped system same we need to follow here, but for gate these final equations are very important. We are going to apply these formulas to different problems or further um, that means for the topics we are going to use these equations. So, that is why I am going to uh, give you this equations these equations how we will get these equations means you need to follow the same way which we followed for the previous video by substituting appropriate zeta value. So, you can see here when you are taking any response of second order system the transfer function of second order system basic transfer function of second order system is omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square this is the transfer function of second order system. So, now for under damped system if you want the time response of under damped second order system then you need to substitute the zeta value in between 0 and 1 that means 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 or any fraction you can consider. So, if you consider the zeta value like that then you know R of S is 1 by S because your R of T for this is unit step function. So, R of S will be equivalent to 1 by S. So, if you substitute this R of S is equivalent to 1 by S and if you send R of S this side you will get C of S and you need to substitute zeta value any value in between 0 and 1. So, then it will become under damped second order system and by taking inverse Laplace transform to that C of S you are going to get the C of T. C of T is nothing but time response of the under damped second order system that C of t is this I am giving final equations. So, the way to find out any time response of any damped second order system is so R of s you need to substitute 1 by s you need to send that R of s to this side and in place of zeta you need to substitute the value in between 0 and 1 0.5 or 0 0.2 like that and you need to simplify the equation to a form which is easily inverse transformable and you need to take inverse Laplace transform on both sides then you will get C of t. That C of t in case of under damped system is 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n into t divided by root of 1 minus zeta square sin omega dt plus 5 where omega d is equivalent to omega n root of 1 minus zeta square and phi is equivalent to tan inverse root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta. So, if you observe the diagram of this time response of under damped second order system that will be like this. For unit step signal the response the time response of under damped second order system it will be like this. Coming to the critically damped system same way we need to follow but in place of zeta you need to substitute 1. So, omega n square s square plus 2 omega n s plus omega n square will be transfer function r of s you need to substitute 1 by s you need to send that r of s to this side and you need to consider the inverse transform to calculate c of t just like the previous video we need to follow for each damping just by substituting zeta value and after you need to send this r of s to this side then you will get c of s by taking inverse Laplace transform of that C of S equation then you will get C of T. Here in this case you will get C of T is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus omega n into T into 1 plus omega n into T. So, here the time response of this critically damped second order system it will be always like this why I am giving this response structure image equivalent to this response means sometimes they will ask 
uh, like this in the below options in the below given diagrams in the below graphs which will be the critically damped second order system response so you need to choose this which will be the under damped second order system response this is the under damped second order system response for unit step function so this will be over damped system response second order system response for unit step signal so coming to over damped system we need to substitute zeta greater than 1 greater than 1 means 2 3 4 any value you can substitute so here c of t is equivalent to in this case 1 minus omega n by 2 root of zeta square minus 1 my e power minus s1 t by s1 minus e power minus s2 t by s2 so here where s1 is equivalent to zeta omega n minus omega n root of zeta square minus 1 so these are nothing but roots s1 and s2 are roots so this we already discussed about this roots so s2 is equivalent to zeta omega n plus omega n root of zeta square minus 1 just in in case of roots we are going to get plus or minus so these roots are complex conjugate to each other if you see these roots are complex conjugate to each other uh, no, not complex conjugates we can't say complex conjugate also because here you are not having any j these roots are real roots but not equal we can say these roots are real but not equal we will get for over damped system we will get the roots as real purely real but not equal you can see s1 and s2 are not equal we can't say complex conjugate sorry and here the c of t value is equal to like this so you need to keep in mind all these three equations you need to keep in mind and the response will be like this so for unit step input according to zeta value the slope is going to vary zeta is equal to 1.5 for example if you consider that will be somewhat high if you are increasing zeta value your response is going to decrease like that so the response structure will be like this so now this is c of t in case of under damped system this is c of t that means time response in case of critically damped system this is for over damped system all these three equations are very important so in future videos that means in future topics we are going to use this equations in some of topics we may use this equation then you need to keep in mind about under damped critically damped and over damped systems